All right, hello. Uh, this is my tutorial on Zabrid Command Maker. Um, is script is available. Oh, this script is available on SK Unity for free, um, and it helps you create new commands for your server, all in game, and that are fully configurable to how you want them to be. Um, whenever you download it, you will get a RAR folder that you need to unzip. And then you will get a file called Zabri Command Maker, or a folder I mean. You will want to put this server inside of your scripts file, and then it's basically installed. All you gotta do then is SK reload, and if these tab menu should show up, oh, tab menu should show up, and then just SK reload Zabri Command Maker. take just a second and boom now it's loaded for you now let's actually get to the actual tutorial so let's say uh let me currently cmd delete discord I, I i i had that already made okay so let's say i want to make a simple command for slash discord slash cmd create discord that's simple and it opens this menu now I can enable and disable this command by clicking this. Doesn't matter if I left or right click, it will enable or disable um, this command. Um, we have this command message here. Now this is what sends in chat whenever this command is run. Obviously you can enable or disable this feature. Let's for now enable it. So let's say now I want to configure my message, right? Well, it's simple. I just left click as it says here, and it will tell me a chat. Type what you have to set slash discord's message to. To create a new line, use uh, these two symbols to split the lines, and you can click here for an example. Uh, to create clickable links, do or use link and then link here. Here's an example. So as we can already see here, it has a fully written example for me. And then I can type cancel to cancel this change or none to delete the command message. So because Minehut sucks, I am going to have to replace all of these characters with an at symbol because uh, Minehut's uh, anti-spam thing sucks. But if we do this, it will create my command message that I can view right here. So now that we have that, if we do slash discord, which this does work with the tab command, but like this has a t auto tab completion. But in order for this to work, after you create your command, you need to restart your server. Um, but if I do slash discord, discord server link, click here. You can see this works just fine. Um, I can also create multiple lines in this message as you could see earlier. So if we cmd edit discord, uh, if we want to, we can copy what it is currently set to, just to change it. And let's say we want to add some lines around it. Like this, and like this. Boom. So now we have multiple lines. So now when we do Discord, it's not just a one line message, it's a multiple line message. Next, next feature we have is a teleportation. This will teleport the player to a specific location whenever they run this command. So let's enable this feature. Um, and let's just set the teleport location right where I'm at. So you can see it'll tell you all the information, the yaw, the pitch, X, Y, and Z coordinates. It'll also tell you the world. So now if we do slash discord, it teleports me to where I did that. Pretty simple. Now we have the subtitle slash title message. This message, basically, it sends, if you know what a title slash subtitle message is, it sends that to the player whenever they run this command. So let's say, uh, let's enable this feature, and then it'll tell you all this, separate lines. So let's say, um, Discord, join our Discord for updates. So now this title slash subtitle command will send whenever I do slash discord. 
Let's do that. Pretty cool. Then, next feature we have is a permission. I can't really test this because I'm off. But basically, you enable... Oh, wait, no. Wrong thing. Uh, no. Um, you enable this feature, and then let's say we want the permission to be uh, discord.use. It'll now require the player to have the permission discord.use in order to use this command. Pretty cool. Uh, we have cooldowns. As it says here, cooldowns do not carry over restarts. But we can enable this, and let's say we want to set our command cooldown to 10 seconds. So as you can see, you just type the amount of seconds. So 10. Uh, it'll automatically translate, like let's say if we typed 100 seconds, it'll automatically translate that into 1 minute and 40 seconds. Or let's keep it at 10 for testing purposes. Now if we do slash discord, then try to run discord again, you'll see there is now a cooldown that we have to wait through. Very cool. Next, we have um, a price. So basically, you can make the command cost money in order to be run. So let's enable that, and let's say it costs uh, $100. Oh, wait, I didn't. I'm an idiot. I need to click this. So let's say it costs $100. So now that that's set to cost $100, if I bow... Uh, let's eco set zabrid 100. And I do slash discord. I should have zero dollars. Yep, you see it costed me a hundred dollars to run that command. Cooldown still works, obviously. Um, next we have is uh, uh, console commands. So basically, this means that whenever the player runs this command, console will also run a command at the same time. So let's say we want console to um broadcast uh that player use slash discord along with give player i don't know third and you can see here it tells you what the commands are currently set to it is enabled and now if we do slash discord It'll broadcast it, and it'll give me dirt. Next feature we have, and the final feature, is command items. This will mean that this command automatically gives the player items. So let's say we want this command to give the player a full set of iron armor. Right? Now, Discord edit. Now, what we do is we add this to the GUI here. And then we click this little save items icon. You can clear all the items with this button, but for now we're just gonna save. And then we return to previous menu. It tells you how many items are there. And then let's enable this feature. Now if we do slash discord. Ah, oh, I need $100. Eco gives average 100. And then if I do slash discord, as you'll see, I now have a full set of iron armor along with the command that it just gave me, the dirt, and it broadcasts it. Um, so yeah. So, uh, Zabrid's Command Maker is a pretty useful script for all kind of server owners. Helps you uh, create all the commands you want with no hassle at all. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you use my resource.